Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome back to Ready, Set, Japan! Today will be the first time in a while for me to solo hike up a mountain, so I'm so excited. This time I'll be starting from the base of the mountain with 30 pound gear to help me understand what I need for future trekking adventures. Heading on to the introduction of the mountain. Today's mountain is called Mount Gozaisho. This mountain is part of Mie Prefecture's seven famous mountains and is part of Mie Suzuka Quasi National Park. This beauty's hike goes up to 1,212 meters tall, so it's going to be a fun hike. So for those of you who are wondering why this video says uh, part one, I would answer that question this time I slept in and I didn't have enough time to make it to the mountain summit. This is actually very heartbreaking for me, but I plan on coming back to this mountain better equipped for part two. So regardless, there's a lot of fun and adventure in today's video. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. around here all on this road here are all people that are trying to climb up this mountain today it's quite crazy because it's gated off so for the next 30 minutes I think 30 minutes to an hour I have to hike up a paved road to get to the top of this mountain but it's pretty nice weather out I mean it's okay it's cloudy but you know what not the weather that makes the journey it's how you think of it and I think this is pretty nice it's chilly feels good it's quiet and I just have good good vibes from today let's see how the weather will be once we get to the top of the mountain So that is the mountain we're going up today. It's Gozaisho. It's a hundred and uh, one thousand two hundred centimeter, not centimeter. <laughs> It's a 1,200 meter tall mountain. It's not as high as Ibukiyama in my previous video in Gifu, but it is beautiful and it has a nice sharp point at the top. So hopefully we can reach that and get some good footage of Mie Prefecture. ね。はい。あれ。あ、じゃあ、気をつけないといけないな。わかりました。まあ、そうですね。まあ、気をつけます。気をつけます。ありがとうございました。はい、どうも。はい、失礼します。This is pretty dangerous. Frozen roads on a mountain. Not too safe, but it's okay.
Oh, found the path. こんにちは。はどうでしたか良かったですか<笑>楽しみですこんにちは<笑>This is the snow that probably war warning me about earlier. It's all ice. こんにちは。<笑>これご,ご在所の浦見市ですかです。あ、ありがとうございます。
I don't know which is Buddha. Is it going straight? Or going behind? Or look to the right? Don't know, but I think this is it right here. Just follow the footsteps, huh? It's gorgeous. Like you don't rabbit's ear. Really cheap. This looks like a rock, but it's actually ice. It's crazy, you gotta be careful when you climb up these rocks. Always check your footing where you step. Make sure that it is steppable. We're able to plant your feet and not have it slide. If you don't have the proper gear, you can regret this later when you break your leg. Almost there. Look at me. The 
Just look at this view. This is gorgeous. So I uh, have 40 more minutes to the top of the mountain, but the thing is the sun's gonna set if I go up there. And it's gonna be a very dangerous way back down. So I think I'll have to continue this for part two, another video. And it's for the best, uh, the best direction for my video would be to put on hold. So this is uh, at our around a thousand meter mark. I have about 277 more meters to the top. So close, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right guys? After all, when you're in a mountain, you're working against nature and you're on your own. And uh, it's a battle of spirit as well as intelligence. If you go up here unprepared, you can face some pretty bad dangers. Um, I, didn't th I didn't think it was gonna snow. So, you know, I didn't bring any proper shoes. Uh, the metal cleats that go with them, I didn't bring those. And uh, there's some parts where I did slip on the way up the mountain. So that's something I can prepare for next time I come up here within maybe the next couple weeks or so. But this is just gorgeous. Uh, I really enjoyed this so far, you know. Um, I definitely want to do this again soon and uh, continue the footage and hopefully get great scenic footage on the top of this mountain. Gozaisho. Mia Prefecture, guys. Mia Prefecture. Look at that. much for uh, joining me on this journey today I've learned a lot today um, especially about being prepared and time management um, today it would have really helped if I had uh, some metal cleats uh, I don't know if that's the terminology for it I'm from Florida we don't have snow there but um yeah um, if I left at least three hours earlier from my house I could have uh, taken my time going up the mountain and uh, had a picnic up there but uh, I kind of slept in so that's bad that's my bad but next time when I go up this mountain I'll be prepared I'm gonna go early and it's actually um, a koya uh, a little hut a mountain hut at the base of the mountain that you can stay the night at for about 47 uh, which is like if you equivalent equate it to dollars to be 47 dollars and they have like a, a bathtub in there as well and dinner and breakfast is included for an additional price of 300 700 yen depending on which one you choose but um yeah if i go on that i could wake up early and get to the mountain instead of have to drive uh two hours to get here but um yeah it was definitely a beautiful mountain there's a lot of people down the trail too and i really enjoyed that even though this place was gated off to cars people parked their cars along the road like you saw earlier in the video and they all went through the gate the gated area they went over that fence and they went up this mountain and I asked the people up there at the mountain that uh, run the, 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 the hut and they're like, oh yeah, you can do that. It's fine. And I was talking to another guy over here clipping uh, you know, trees on the side of the road. Um, yeah, he's like, yeah, it's fine. But you know, um, just don't make, make sure you don't get stick too far out in the road or else you're gonna cause inconveniences to people around here that are trying to drive through. But yeah, there's definitely gonna be a part two to this video. I'm, I'm satisfied, maybe 80%. I, was, I made it 80% of the mountain. I was at the 950 mark, I think. So I just had a little bit more to go, but next time I'm gonna go and I'm gonna conquer this mountain. Goes I shall. See you next time.
Oh, and also, if you're watching this still, um, please hit subscribe, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Everyone that subscribes to my channel, it means the world to me, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Right, stay tuned to the next video on Ready, Set, Japan.